Oh my yes. God, if I was a dermatologist, I would be popping your pimples so, right now. <laughs> welcome. I guess I'll upload this as we are starting this process. This is our first salt water tank. And today we're going to medicate our fish. And we're going to, rather than medicate the tank, we're actually going to feed them the medication. So I'll, I'll record that process. This is new for us. The story is that these are our first two pets, two clownfish, tomato clownfish. And the dominant one, which became female, is the one we call coral, which is the large one here. Her face started showing the signs of ick, a disease. I'm not sure if it's ick or brocanella, because the more I read, the more I'm learning more things about these fishes. and. All of a sudden, having a saltwater tank, you become a chemist, um, it, a lot of reading. So we have a crab, which we'll see. You so, went to the back now. My theory, and my sisters and I theory is that this parasite came from either a crab that we purchased or a fish, which passed away. We got crabs, emerald crab, because we had bubble algae. So we no longer have the bubble algae, but all of a sudden now we have this fish not looking so good. But they're still eating, so that's why we're still, she knows I'm talking about her. Um, so that's why we're gonna decide to feed it um, because my sister and I were giving these fishes some buffet. You know, we kind of figured they ate the same they're way Spanish we do. People, they're yeah. Spanish fishes. You're Latinos. So we Latinos were giving eat. them <laughs> twice a day. And this little one would eat everything. So that's a part that I said, okay, that, that's probably why she got sick, sick too. Because we're Puerto Ricans and Dominicans exactly. and we eat. So you see how their face is oh. looking. It's a lot worse today. So definitely we're going to medicate tonight rather it's than wait till tomorrow. Time. And they're waiting for some food. And so they, that's a good sign. Yeah. They know that we normally come up to the glass to feed. So they kind of know the routine already. It's amazing how you start developing these relationships with pets. And, you know, in my heaven, there are no pets. So this for me to have this love and care and now worry, um, they're getting to us. So... We'll do a video and show how we're going to do this food um, since it's new. And I only found two or three online that showed the process. So I figure we'll record it ourselves too. So stay tuned. 